It's Sunday evening. You and your homies chill at your local church. The choir starts singing. Ooh, ooh. The organs are playing in the background. An idea pops in your head. You go home and make something like this. What up, ladies and gentlemen? So, you can actually see I'll be making church music into Tech House. So, what's the whole point of this? The whole point of this is that we're gonna be taking like the church, Jesus, Christian kind of vibe sounds, and then we're gonna be blending them with a Tech House truck and see what we come up We and see what we can, and see what we can come up with. You want my English, bro. This is like a really cool trick if you're feeling uninspired or you have like writer's blog, all that kind of bullshit, to just combine different styles together and see what you can come up with and this and this also helps you a lot in like developing your own sound let's say for example you look you really like science fiction movies what what kind of elements do those science fiction movies have you know they have like the spaceships the glitch sounds like the, the fucking space you know you know futuristic sounds and what if you take those sounds and put them in a specific genre let's say for example you put them in in a tech house truck what what's my point here my point is here you can take stuff from from your daily life which is like it's either religion it's either movies it's either i don't know friends your family you go outside in nature whatever the fuck it is and take those stuff and implement them into your own trucks the, the production is gonna be way much more fun way much more authentic and that's how you're gonna start developing your own sound in a way that you want to develop it you're not gonna be like trying to get on a trend trying to get like you know the streams and the blah, 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 all that kind of bush bro anyways enough with the ted talk and all that kind of bullshit let's get into it let's motherfucking go baby i have like the whole track here let's see the elements the church elements first and see how i implemented them into a tech house truck so here we have the first the core here so the thing i've done with the core pretty much is that i put a crystallizer and a fat filter pro r so let me show you what this one does it's gonna be like this that's a pretty cool sound you know and it's pretty much a crystallizer that does the whole thing without it the Fab Filter Pro R is just to create some extra reverb. That's why it's it's getting introduced here. And then the crystallizer here. So we create like a really cool vibe with these specific settings here. Oh. And then we have the organs, which is also like church type stuff. And here we have purity, which is like... It's like an organ type shit. And then we also have another purity which is also organs. And the processing here is not something crazy, it's just EQing. But these are the two elements that I started the whole track with. And then I also got this motherfucker. Jesus. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the start. That's how I started the truck. I'm gonna show you a little bit the break and the build up is not that much. We're gonna get to the drop real quick, but let me show you the stuff I added here. So the first thing is this one. It's a really cool sound. It's from the organs. And then I licked them here which, with the guitar rig. So if you actually wanna listen to them with the guitar rig. Granular Joy, that's the preset, that's what it's called. And it has all this kind of stuff. I'm not going through all those motherfuckers. And then we have just this uh, specific stuff. A hi-hat loop and some clubs. And a riser. Another riser. And then we have a crush. I have this little synth. And then the toms together. Yeah, you know the song that goes like... And I can feel it and I also introduce the main synth. It's actually a sample that we have on the drop. Jesus. 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 Let me start with the drums. Very simple drums. It's just a kick. A tech housey type shit kick. Then we have some clubs, open hats, a hi hat loop, 
and then a crush also. Let's get to the bass line and then I'm gonna go to the synth. This is the bass line. It's very simple and I'm gonna show you how to sound design this really fucking quick. So I did another tech house track two, three weeks ago and a guy was asking in the comments, how the fuck did you do the bass? So let me show you guy how to do the fucking bass in Spire, which also can be implemented in every synth, not only just Spire, it's like very simple. Let me show you real quick. We take the first oscillator, which is here. And then I turn this, which is a sine wave. Ooh, damn. And then we pitch it two octaves down, bam, bam. Damn, nice, okay. Let me grab the MIDI node and put them here. So it's gonna be sound like this. Eh, pretty dumb. And this is what I do in Spire. I just press the warm and the boost and then I do the X comp a little bit up. So it gets boosted a lot pretty much with these settings. But I really like it because it gives it like a really warm type vibe. Um, and then I turn the dry wet. Uh, this is the, um, this is like a, a distortion within Spire. It's called SHP, might be Shaper, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know terminology. I know what it does, but I don't know about terminology. And then we turn the dry wet all the way up. So it sounds kind of sus. Then we're gonna go to the main envelope for the whole volume. And then we're gonna turn the sustain all the way down and turn decay. So if I turn the decay, it's gonna sound like this very sharp and then once I start turning it up so I kind of want it around this value which says like 37 percent and then I'm gonna put a little bit more release here okay that's cool and then another really cool trick I'm gonna take a second envelope which is not linked to the whole volume of the synth and then I'm gonna do the same thing but with less decay I'm gonna link the pitch of the first oscillator then I'm gonna turn this one up so it's gonna sound something like this I'm gonna put, put it like this it makes it more punchy What is missing right now is just some little white noise that I like to add. And I just put the oscillator to like this and then, and I um, put noise. But it sounds very bad, so I'm gonna pitch it up. Sounds pretty cool, but not there yet. So I'm gonna put another envelope, which is envelope four, and I'm gonna link it to, um, to oscillator number two, the volume of it. So I'm gonna put this all the way down so that it goes like this. So, something like this. The, the one I did right now, it's a little bit more punchy. This is how I sound design the whole thing and with everything together, it's gonna sound something like this. It's actually very simple at the end of the day, but also let's get to the synth. So the synth is something like this. At the end of the day, what's the whole processing I've done on the synth is just to make it a little bit wider. So without any effects. You see, it's a little bit, you know, out there. And then I did some automations. This is like a reverb automation. creates a really big room type shit. Yeah, that's pretty much for the synth. I just took this synth, this specific synth. I took it from its vengeance, house, synth, um, it's C minor. And it says here C minor, the whole track was in C sharp minor. So I pitched it one semitone up. So it's in key. And then I added some extra stuff here. Let me show you this really cool part. Jesus. Damn. Okay, so the first one is something like this. It's like some chords from Spire that I found, some really cool stuff. The processing is not crazy. It's just cutting the lows. And then another one. Both from Spire, nothing crazy to be honest. And then here I have like a little pitch bend that goes like And then I introduce some extra stuff on top of the synth, which is gonna sound something like this. It's some extra synths that I found from Vengeance. It was also C minor, so I put it C sharp minor. So all together we like this. Jesus. It's from Splice, I found this organ. Jesus. 
So all I did, I just added this organ and then I just chopped it up, la di da di da type shit. And then it, it, I came up with this. So pretty easy to be honest. You can see the whole thing here is, is so fucking easy. But yeah, uh, that was like the little really cool thingy. Thanks for watching. You can join my Discord server. It's in the link in the description. You can go to my website. I got some free stuff. It's free, bro. Get him. And if you want to jump to this specific song, it's going to be also the link in the description. It's going to be on the SoundCloud link that I will link in the link in the description. Link, 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 link. You know what I'm saying? Like and subscribe. All that kind of bullshit. Thank you very much. Bu